Bring down into the day that know and enter into the ark. And do not until the flood came. See, we don't know when the flood is coming, y'all. We got to get in the house and get in it fast because it's going to rain. It's going to rain. Hallelujah. You better get ready and bear it in mind. God showed Noah. Hallelujah. Rainbow sign. Hallelujah. It ain't going to be water. It's going to be fire next time. Then shall two be in the field, the one be taken, the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Watch, therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doth come. Lord have mercy. But know this, that if the goodman of the house had known in what hour the thief would come, he would have watched. It would not have suffered his house, not the natural house, him to be broken into, to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye shall not know the Son of Man coming. Let me read that again, because my eyes are kind of dim here, praise God. Therefore, be ye also ready, for ye know for, for in such an hour as you think not, thank you, Holy Ghost, the Son of Man coming. You know, in, in my weakness, he's my strength, so don't worry about the mistakes. Amen. Praise God. Anytime you try to bring forth the word of God, there's going to be great opposition. Praise God. But we just thank the Lord. Sometimes the eyes get a little dim. Praise God. Hallelujah. And that's just one reason, because we're failing. The body is dying every day, y'all. It's getting weaker and weaker and weaker. Amen. Amen. But we thank the Lord. The word of God still remains the same. He's coming back. Are you ready? Praise God. Are you getting ready? Praise God. Hallelujah. And then stay ready. Hallelujah, because we don't want to be lost. Praise God. That's why we pray like we pray. Praise God. That's why we sing like we sing. That's why we live like we live. That's why we forgive like we need to forgive. Hallelujah. That's why we love like we need to love with the love of God. Because I don't want to be lost. You don't want to be lost when Jesus comes. Hallelujah. Because he is coming back again so soon. Will you be ready? Amen. Love you. God bless you. As we turn it over to the power of the Holy Ghost through the bond servant and servant of Jesus Christ. And it's an awesome new weapon. Amen. Giving honor to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. For he alone is worthy of all honor, praise, and glory. We thank God for what we've heard thus far. Amen. Coming from the woman of God. And I'm going to tell you, uh, this is something that, that you need to know. That anytime someone is engaged in ministering of the gospel, the word of God, uh, what, what needs to be done is what is known as the uh, prayer of restoration. And I'm going to tell you why that is so important. Because not too long ago, um, the woman of God had just finished at 7 a.m. Uh, ministering on the sacrificial praise line. And, and I tell you, she did a great job there and she did a great job here by way of the Holy Ghost. But it's about, it's about the power that God provides. So that's why you have to pray a prayer of restoration. Because the individual that God uses, uh, they receive what God will give them, but they have to pour out of themselves. And, 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 and you need to be refilled. So, Father God, in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I humbly come before you right now just to say thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity. Thank you, Father God, sign to our hands. Amen. And go. As far as it can come. Okay, praise God. Yeah, um, so, Father God, we thank you for that. We thank you for all things. Yeah, we're having a live conversation, y'all. We thank you for all the things um, as far as what you're doing, Father God. And we believe in by faith that she has been restored, Father God, in the, with the dunamis power anointing of the Holy Ghost so she can go forth, oh, Father God, to continue to do your will. This is my humble prayer. I submit at this time for the uh, prayer of restoration on behalf of past evangelist Sherry O. Weathersby. Amen. With thanksgiving in my heart. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, yes, yes. We thank God again for all those that are, are tuning in um, via the phone and also podcasts. And we're trying to set up the live video. Uh, amen. That's going to be happening here fairly soon. So we just thank God for all things uh, uh, which he does provide for us. Amen. He gives us avenues, y'all, for the gospel to be spread 
and too many of us are looking for the are looking for something to I don't know what we're looking for. Amen. Um, uh, some of us are looking for glamorous ways to go about spreading the gospel. Oh yeah, I know what we're looking for, folks. Are, some some of us are looking to uh, uh, somebody to sponsor them so that they can go uh, and travel abroad and this, that, and the other. God has afforded revenues and resources to us that don't cost you nothing. Amen. If you have a Facebook page, a Facebook page, and if you have friends that trans that 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 transcend outside of the borders of these United States of America, then you have a way to minister the gospel to the masses. You just have to utilize that that what God has already provided and stop looking for something else that uh, that that more or less will glorify you and please you. We want to do those things that are pleasing, um, pleasing to God. Amen. And I thank God for that. So you know, we just we're just going to uh, gather ourselves so we can get ourselves uh, together. Amen. Uh, today has been a great day. Um, you know. I, oh my God. Let me just ask you this: um, <laughs> uh, How many people know that when you lay your burdens down? Uh, 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 that that you do feel better. You know the song, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad I laid my burdens down. My burdens down. I feel better. I feel better. So much better. Oh, since I laid my burdens down, I feel better. So much better. Since I laid my burdens down, well, friends don't treat me like they used to. Since I laid my burdens down, my friends don't treat me like they used to. Since I laid my burdens down. Burdens down, Lord. Burdens down, Lord. Since I laid my burdens down. Burdens down, Lord. Burdens down, Lord. Since I laid my burdens down. One day, y'all, I'm going home to... Live with Jesus when I lay my my burdens down. I'm going home to to live with Jesus since I lay my burdens down. My burdens down, Lord. Burdens down, Lord. Since I lay my my burdens down. I'm going home to to be with Jesus since I laid my burdens down. Amen, amen. I'm going home to live with Jesus since I laid my burdens down. <coughs> oh my God. But let me say this real quick. Fast and hurry. <coughs> Excuse me. Amen. Um, uh, I, I need a towel. Amen. I'm not going to lay him down just quite yet prayerfully. Amen. I do believe that he still has work for me to do. But that's just the mindset that I'm talking about. And I know that, oh my God, let me just uh, uh, reintroduce some things here. Um, uh, 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 we, we're live on Facebook, so therefore they came in on the back end of what we've been doing. Sound the Alarm Ministries, Minister Arthur L. Weathersby. Amen. Uh, one half of that, a uh, sound the alarm ministry. Our our scriptural reference for the for the ministry is Joel two one, and our motto is we are crying loud and sparing not. That's from Isaiah fifty eight one. Uh, uh, if you were listening in on the podcast, you've already heard a uh, past evangelist Sherry O. Weathersby uh, give a word from the Lord. Amen. Or if you were listening via live call, you've heard it conference call, amen, but I don't know if anybody was listening to your live conference call, uh, amen, but nevertheless, God has a way, and so here we are right now, and what we're going to do is, I'm going to read a scripture, amen, where where my um, portion of the 
service is going to come from. And we're going to go directly to the psalm, the very last psalm, which is Psalm 150. Amen. And it's going to be read in its entirety. And I read from the Amplified Bible. It absolutely reads this way. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the heavens of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and la harp. Praise him with tambourine and single or group dance. Praise him with stringed and wind instruments or flutes. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath and every breath of life praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thus is the reading of God's word. The word of the Lord is already blessed. May he continue to bless the hearing, reading, doing of his holy, blessed word. We need not only become just hearers of it, but we absolutely need to be and must be doers of it as well. Most gracious and eternal Father, Lord God, at this time I come before you just to say thank you. Thank you, Father God, for yet another opportunity, another occasion, another appointment that you've made, Father God, for your word to go forth out to your people. Father God, and I pray that before I go further, I want to ask that you forgive us of any and all sins that may have been committed. Father God, uh, by me, uh, since the last time I spoke to you this morning, anything by thought, word, or deed was that was not pleasing within your sight, I ask for forgiveness. Now, dear God, as we prepare to go into your word, Father God, as you open me up, uh, Father God, to just to speak as only you can by way of the Holy Ghost. I know that Arthur must decrease, therefore the Lord thy God, you must increase. So I'm extremely mindful to say, uh, let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, uh, be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my strength and redeemer, in the precious name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I pray, with thanksgiving in my heart, amen, amen, amen. We thank God for what we're about to uh, uh, do on this morning, uh, according to his will. And I'm not going to be apologetic about anything. My voice sounds kind of raggedy because of these allergies. And um, so bear with me if I start coughing and sneezing incessantly. Don't just gasp. Pray. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Pray. Amen. We thank God for his word. And, and the message on the day is, oh my God, this is good, y'all. Uh, put a praise on it. <laughs> Amen. Put a praise on it. Oh my God, yeah, if anybody know anything about gospel music, that, that, that subject, that, that title comes from the song by uh, an anointed Tasha Cobbs, Put a Praise on It, amen, and, and, and God has given me by way of inspiration of the Holy Ghost, the message for us to speak about this today, and the reason being is that there are so many things that are going on in the world today, uh, besides the world, uh, uh, the things that are world events, uh, um, the local things, the national things, uh, uh, yeah, international, national, and local, all those things that are going on within our municipalities, cities, and countries, and, and the wind, and, uh, and oh my God, so much going on, so much going on. Uh, somebody said that the world is going um, to a, from hell to a hell basket, whatever that phrase is, I, I can't re recall it off the top of my head, but so, it's going, it's bad, y'all. But the thing of the matter is, is that even with all of that, there are still, there are a lot of other things that we have to deal with individually. There, we have life, and life is full of challenges. It is full of issues and concerns that you're going to face each and every day. Now, 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 for those that are believers in Christ, for those of you that are believers in Christ, we want to clarify something here for you because there's some people that have the mistaking understanding about what salvation is. Oh, my God. Many people have a, a misconception about salvation. They believe that salvation means that they're saved from everything. Not so. The only thing that we're saved from is the penalty of sin and, and, and the bondage that sin had us locked into. The penalty of sin is this. The wages of sin is death. We're saved from that. Why? Because the gift of God, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever would believe in him would not perish, but would have eternal life. Amen. 
everlasting life. Amen. So therefore, we've been saved from that penalty of sin, which is death. We had a death sentence from day one. From the time of our birth, we had that death sentence. Why? Because we are born into sin. You don't have to do anything at all to come into this world. Uh, 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 to, when you come into this world to get in sin, you're already born in it. Why? Because we come...